Wow, hello my people. Thanks for subscribing to my channel. Your wish has always been my command. Thanks always. Well, meanwhile, this is another one. Welcome back. And on to today's news, it says Pastor Ezeyamu's world campaign in Oman is looking like a Renard Bonk crusade. Remember the late gospel evangelist Renard Bonk? He was reputed for holding crusades around the globe that attracted millions of worshippers. His crusades were also characterized by excitement and expectations from the crowd. The World to World campaign of the APC and its gubernatorial candidate Pastor Ezeyamu can be likened to such crusades. The people turned out massively, their expectations, their hopes and enthusiasm were clearly seen on their faces. We are out, raising awareness. The response from the people is amazing. So many people that never dared to speak out and never wanted to say that they were for APC and Pastor Ezeyamu are coming out because they are sick and tired of the present retrogression we witness in the state. Julius Elman was a rally attendee and he said, we can't stay silent anymore. The APC is to hold war to war rallies in, the, in all the 192 wards of Edo State. And obviously from the pictures you can see that a lot of, there was, it was a huge turnout and everybody is really supporting. So it would actually be a very, very tight election. They might win by just what, how many percent? It would be like a really small margin. So everybody needs to go out to vote. One vote can change everything. Well, let's see what the comments say. The first person says, you are the next governor of Edo State because you are highly accepted by the nook and cranny, by the nook and cranny of the state. And may the Lord be with you in Jesus' name. Amen. Another person says that this is a rented crowd and the person got a lot of replies. Of course, with um, Eziamo's um, supporters saying, you, you keep shouting this, you are not serious, your eye will soon be clear, you're stupid. Obviously, you know, there's an agenda and a lot of people are going for who they think will be governor. So it will be really, really tight when it comes to the um, elections because, you know, one vote or two votes or three votes could be the, could tip the scale and either one of Obasaki or Ezeyamu would be governor. Well, put what you think in the comment section below and also do not forget to like and subscribe.